Hey what is going on everyone this is Wicked and tonight I'm going to be reviewing a brand new 7.1 ROM it is actually an ASP ROM from GDC team and of course a little disclaimer before proceeding to the flashing part this ROM is not stable it is not suitable for daily usage it still contains major bugs like video camera not working camera worked a couple of times really well until it broke down you may be wondering, well, Wicked, you reviewed a 7.1 ROM already, why is it necessary to do another video? Well, being ASP, this ROM comes with Substratum Theme Engine, which means you can turn your device from this to this in a couple of minutes. More about the performance, smoothness, and why not features of this ROM, You'll be finding out in the following minutes. So, without further ado, let's get into the flashing part. In order to get this ROM running, the first thing you'll need to do is getting into recovery. I strongly recommend making an Android backup before installing this ROM. In case you won't like it, then you'll be able to restore your previous configuration without a miss. Better be safe than sorry. Moving on, making a full wipe is a part of my day-to-day -day flashing step especially when upgrading from an Android version to another one. After you're done wiping your device, click back a couple of times and then click install. Select the storage where you place the ROM, the gaps package and the theme black out gaps package. And of course then search for the rom.zip, which is the main file you need to install and of course swipe to install it. After you finish flashing the main ROM, click back and then flash the gaps file. This will take some time depending on what type of gaps package you downloaded. After you flashed it, then finally install the theme blackout gaps, which will help subscribe the module to theme your all, all, actually all your Google Apps. Afterwards, click reboot and let's check out the boot animation, shall we? After the booting process, the same vision settings will cause the settings to force close. But that's a minor bug. I had to configure all my data, Wi-Fi, Google accounts, credentials, etc. Then I got into the ROM itself and started to play with it. Here you can see that I'm currently running latest ASP 7.1 beta from GDC team. Let's browse through the features of this ROM really quick. You can easily customize the power menu from here by adding or removing different settings like taking a screenshot, screen recording, flashlight, sound modules and so on and so forth. Then I got into the hardware button customization or configuration where I discovered that this ROM comes with Google Assistant integrated which is really a nice touch. Regarding the performance part, you can tweak the kernel settings with STX app when you can underclock your device or set a new governor if you're not really satisfied with the battery life. Speaking of battery life, I have to admit I felt it draining pretty fast during my review. And now, maybe mm, one of the most important features of any ASP ROM, the brand new Substratum theme engine which I reckon it's better than CM Theme Engine. Just take a look at how it transforms the device. I'm running Domination Theme, completely black, really useful for AMOLED screens and just take a look at these themed applications and at the entire user interface. It's brilliant that you can theme your device like that. Now, enough with the theming part, let's talk performance. I run on a tube test and got 31,052 points, a pretty decent score if you ask me. Up to the gaming test, my favorite one, Alter's Adventure was running smooth with some obvious frame drops. They were present in CM14 as well, so no surprise here. Maybe the game isn't optimized for Android N.
speaking about sensors, all of them were working fine and I couldn't find a problem here. Either way, after playing with this ROM for a while, I had to reboot it once because the two wheels freeze after installing the Substratum theme, camera crashed after switching to video camera because video camera isn't working on 7.1 and the only way you can use it again is by downloading open camera from Google Play Store and hope it won't give you the can't connect to camera error. Most of the other features Android N comes with on my Galaxy S4 and of course in the same time on your Galaxy S4 you can find on my Android on my other Android 7 and 7.1 videos you can find out in the cards right there in the upper corner. That was it for today guys I hope you liked my video my review if you did please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel until next time take care and have a good one work it is out bye bye